All right, now I want to introduce, last year, if you remember, um, the Sternleib, Selma and Herschel Sternleib received our, um, our award for the Peacemaker of the Year, and so Herschel Sternleib will be the one to announce this year's winner. Thank you. Uh, it's time we called war what it really is, criminal insanity. Criminal because it is the deliberate taking of human life and insane because it adheres exactly to a classical definition of insanity, which is doing the same thing over and over again, seeking a different result, but always getting the same result. Wars are fought for many different objectives, to save the nation from its supposed enemies, to spread a faith to conquer others, to line pockets, to preempt a foe, but always with the desired result of eventual peace. Wars are meant to bring peace. Yet when the war is over and peace does come, it is usually short-lived, and before long, we are up to our ears in preparing for and fighting a new war. It is time to stop being insane. It is trying to try something new. Why not bring peace by being peaceful? It will certainly be less expensive, less bloody, less polluting, and much, much quieter. The recipient, the recipient of this year's Peace Award saw this reality of war as criminal insanity after spending a career flying around with atomic bombs. He has been an example of steadfast adherence to the principles of peace, protecting the environment, and striving to make the world a healthier and safer place. Not only has he talked the talk, but he has walked the walk and continues to do so, setting a magnificent example for all of us to follow. Don't let his age fool you. He has more energy and more dedication than anyone 50 years his junior. In rain or shine, he is out there doing his good works. He has been a blessing to all of us and to life itself. We are proud and honored to call him our friend. He is Brunswick's treasure. He is the one and only Bob Dale. Thank you all very much. I, this was the world's best kept secret. I had no idea. I would have stayed over there in that tent if I'd known this. Thanks very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I feel so good. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. I really feel from the bottom of my heart. Thanks.